on the side of the arena there there's music going at night it's under light you have the water the other side so there's many many distractions really just get the horse focused the control is important but you're not going to teach the horse so much when you actually arrive at the show all the training's been done it's more about getting the horse in the right frame of mind along with myself and the riders to to produce the result at the right time it's what we do you know i get more nervous doing other things but riding is what i feel comfortable with doing so very lucky that i don't get nervous in the ring i just want to win that's what's in my head i want to do well you've got to be so in tune with your horse know what strides suit your horse and that's why we ride them every day that's why we work with them every day so that we get that partnership so we understand our horses inside out and make those split decisions that hopefully result in a win in a big competition there's a lot of little things that go through your head, but I think because I've been doing it for quite some time, it, it does end up becoming automatic. You are really on your game and you're focused and you, you have your plan in your head and it basically has to get engraved in your head that when you go in the ring, it just becomes automatic. And I know sometimes when I'm not switched on or when I'm not feeling 100% or when I am worried, I know that that's when things don't go well. And, and um, so there, there is a reason for every action. For the last and for the victory, here she comes at Vita Tops Alexander. It is once again a victory for the record lady. Yeah, you've got to be switched on and you've got to be on the ball and you've got to know your horse very well, know the stride of your horse very well. And it doesn't always go to plan when you go in the ring. I think the more you do the sport and the more you are riding that particular horse, the more you know the horse, the easier it gets because you start to understand the horse better, you start to know its weaknesses, you start to know its strengths and you've got to have the right can to the right balance to get to the right place. And I know before I go in the ring that I've got to have everything so computerised in my head and feel that my horse is relaxed and, and know that you know when I get in that ring that everything is just going to happen exactly the way I planned. It doesn't always go like that, you know, and maybe shadow or they stumble one time. There's so many different elements that go towards it, but um, that's the thing about being very good and having, you know, very good results is, is precision. So you only get that by practicing and continually going at this high level. And when you're continually at this high level against the best riders in the world, it keeps you up there, you know, and I think that's um, the only way to stay at the top. This is very close again. Come on, Ben. Come on, he's taking one out. And he gets jumps there. it. Ben he gets there. Uh, well, that's the goal anyway, is to, to end up uh, at the right place at the right time. But that comes from the horse listening, the communication between horse and rider. I have a very clear plan. We walk the course. Um, we know, especially in an arena like this, a very set stride. So whether it's six canter strides in between a jump or we have to go to the outside line if the horse is bigger, the inside line if the horse likes to be close to the jump. I have a very clear plan before I go in. And then everything comes very fast in the arena, so I think it's important just to slow everything down. So you pick your pace, pick your canter when you go in the ring, and then trust the system, trust your plan. Obviously you have to do split second decisions when you're going around the ring, how your horse is feeling, and not get distracted at all, but it's about not panicking, not rushing, and let the, the rhythm of the horse sort of carry you to the next jump. A lot of times it goes wrong, but you know, it's about coming out, being patient, you know, understanding why it went wrong and going back to the drawing board and try to correct your mistakes so that you know you don't make those mistakes again. It all comes from years of training and uh, practice on your horse and we can always do something better. It's very difficult to have that perfect, perfect round, you know, I mean there's always something we can be working on and improving on to make it even better. You know, you come out, you, you, you give yourself a you know, kick up the backside and, and try and uh, improve on next time and, and try and make that split decision the correct one next time.